Would you like to know how to get a little bit more out of your Aero Gardens? I just got back from about a week off and I spent quite a bit of time uh, trying to get my Aero Gardens cleaned up. Uh, calcium, iron, as well as uh, organics. So I used a little bit of uh, soap and a brush and also used a white vinegar uh, direct solution to uh, help get the uh, calcium de deposits off. But if you're going to have all that cleanup to do, you really don't want to uh, create additional cleanup that you really aren't looking forward to. So the more gardens, the more work. And one of the things that I like about the air gardens is you can get a lot of plants in a small footprint. However, even with the uh, seed starting deck, you know, on the uh, units like you see here, you can get uh, seed decks that accommodate 50 seedlings. And on the air garden sprouts, you can get seed decks that accommodate 15 seedlings. But I decided that uh, after looking at the germination rates on some of the seeds, actually even some of the seeds that were uh, labeled for this year, they were not germinating 100%. And by the time I spend you know, money to uh, purchase you know, bags of grow sponges and electricity and everything else, it uh, started to occur to me that it would be more successful to be able to have germinated seeds and take the uh, little two leaf uh, seedlings and just slice one of those grow sponges in half and put that into the arrow guard. Uh, that would allow me to uh, get a uh, developed plant that I know is going to grow versus a seed that may uh, just sit there and never germinate. What I've ended up doing is uh, switched over to a germination tray and this is it. It's just a generic food container. It had some sand that was laying around. It's number six sand and so what I did was I just emptied the sand into the uh, lid of this food container and added enough uh, water to moisten the sand. Then what I did was took a pair of uh, tweezers. You know, if you've never planted seeds with tweezers, extremely handy tool. Picked up some lettuce, put a few of those uh, seeds out where I can get to them, and I just picked those up and I pushed into the sand, released, and let the uh, seed sit in the sand where I shoved this down. Now, uh, afterwards, what I did was I took the uh, pad of my finger and I just gently tapped and that uh, helped to close up the hole where the seed goes in to simulate uh, being out you know, where you would typically plant in an outdoor situation. I've got a fairly dense planting. These are about an inch apart, but there's um, one, two, three, four, five. There's uh, five rows of five seeds. So 25 lettuce seeds in here, and we'll see how these all germinate. But I've got uh, two nine site uh, air garden bounties and my hope is out of 25 seeds that I'll get 18 viable seeds at least and then I will uh, transplant those uh, seedlings into those uh, grow sponges that I showed you just a little bit ago and uh, that will allow me to have one uh, lettuce head per plant site on the air garden that uh, doesn't crowd the lettuce as much and allows a perfect lettuce head to form. It uh, presents well in the uh, kitchen and uh, also gives each plant the ability to reach its full potential. Now, there are probably enough seeds to do another three or four rows on here, but I really don't need all those. And as mentioned, this is a test and I will uh, try to uh, provide an update in the near future because even though I like the uh, sand, uh, it's a little bit difficult to work with, a little messy, but I can probably switch over to alternative uh, things such as wet paper towels in Ziploc bags, 
or um, perhaps I could uh, just get like a small cocoa core wicking system set up that would allow me to uh, scale up or scale down depending on how successful this is. But just uh, one little thing that I wanted to pass along uh, because as I mentioned, it's going to be able to save you time in terms of having uh, a more optimal plant cycle uh, without overcrowding when you're doing your arrow gardens.